Hello everybody, it's me, Sherry D, and I would like to share with you a skin massage, mas dry brushing without a brush routine. Lymphatic stimulation is a great way to improve the immune system, reduce inflammation in the joints, and improve your skin tone, making it more vibrant and bright and soft. So um, today I'm going to be demonstrating using a cotton washcloth. 100% cotton is the best way to go because using natural fabrics or sources is the best for the skin. You can use a loofah or a natural bristled brush. If you're already into dry brushing, of course, you know, go ahead and hop right in and you can follow along if you would like. Um, basically, our lymphatic system runs on two different sides. If you think about people who get um, shingles, how it on, the rash only arrives on one side of the body, that's because that side of the lymphatic system is the one that's suffering. So that shows us that we run separately. So basically, I like to start from the bottom up. I do have a sitting dry brushing routine that also demonstrates the cloth on my YouTube channel, Sherry D Shares Wellness on YouTube. So you can check that out if you have a hard time standing. I like to stand and put my foot up on a couch, a bed, the counter, a stool, because then basically I'm strengthening my core, I'm strengthening my leg that I'm standing on, and also working on balance. So you can fold the washcloth up in whatever is comfortable for you. I'm going to choose this fold, you know, here's the regular, and then just fold it in half and I'm just gonna put it in my hand and start the strokes. So basically, I like to start at my toes. I like to do three strokes in one place before I move on to another. I like to do the bottom of my foot because this is where people might get inflammation of plantar fasciitis. So I'll do short strokes, I do long strokes, I like to open up the ankle because if I just keep it here, you're going to be getting some improvement. But if you open up the ankle, you really, really allow the cells and the fluid to flow. Don't forget the back of your leg. And so I just work my way up the leg. I like to pay t special attention to the knee because we all get not we all, but often we have a tendency of getting inflammation and swelling around our knees. I like to kind of open up the skin so I can really get in there deeper, adding some extra massage, coming up the side of the leg, one, two, three, and then move on. I like to contract my leg sometimes and sometimes I'll do it flat. So basically, a large portion of our lymphatic nodes are in our groin area, so that's what we're doing. We're sweeping up towards the groin area. Then when I get to the bottom, I will kind of lean over and do nice sweeping strokes to the front of the groin area. Now I could either continue on all on the right side. You know what, I'm going to today, just, just for sake of acknowledging that we run on two separate sides. So when I do my abdomen you, and your abdomen, you want to go in clockwise circular motions. I do big ones and then I start doing little ones. And I have a tendency of leaning back and leaning over to open up. I'm going to go ahead and do this one even though I'm working on the right side. Okay, and so then what I do is I pull my belly up. Here's my belly button. I pull the skin up and I brush down over the female organ area into the lymph nodes. And then when I get to the upper part of the abdomen, I come from the side and up towards the heart. So once you get above the belly button, you want everything up towards the heart. Well, all, even so, right? We're starting at the bottom, everything up towards the heart. 
So keeping on the one side that I started with, I like to start, you know, do my hands, do my fingers, open them up, open up your wrist, get it flowing, don't forget your forearm. And I like to lift my arm up, that way it um, is gravity. You know, gravity is helping us. Okay, don't forget your shoulder. So you can be doing this in the shower every day. Sorry, I hit my microphone. Every day. And then you go down into the armpits. You can go over the armpits because this is where our other lymphatic cluster is. Lots and lots of nodes in the underarm. Something that I do also want to um, suggest and recommend before we move on to the other side is you can also, when you're doing your leg, you can also hold it in this position. Think about that. Check this out. And you just cradle the leg. Nice strokes up towards the groin area. And you can do the side. And then you can do this side. And also, even just a little bit of vibration can sometimes help along with fluid movement, okay? And then when you get here, you can bend over. Think about that. You can hold it this way. You can give a little vibration. Just up, okay? So, there is one side, don't forget the neck. We have lymph nodes here in our collarbone area. So I like to go from the chin over. We have lymph node here and here. I have a actual valley fever fungal node there, so that's healing. Uh-oh, there we go. I got hooked on my earring. <laughs> And that, my friends, is what happens to me when I'm br brushing and lymphatic stimulations. I get that nice inhale. And my body just saying, yes, I want the oxygen. So now we're gonna move on to the other side. I'm gonna choose to hold it in this fashion, starting with my toes. Underneath the foot. Open up the ankle. Flex the foot, get the ankle in the other direction, and just pull everything up. You can even use your hands to further allow the fluid movement inside of the thigh, outside of the thigh, underneath. So you can just leave it like this or as I showed you in the last one, you can straighten your leg, whichever you like. I like to do this because I feel like it really helps me tone my body. So I'm kind of multitasking. I'm exercising, I'm gaining flexibility and um, getting lymphatic drainage at the same time. a little jiggle just to loosen things up make sure you're and then as I bend over I try to remember to hold in my abdominals because like I was saying I do like to use this as a toning time also so hold in your abdominals while you're doing it okay and and you always you do this on your whole body naked I'm of course not going to be without clothes while I'm demonstrating. So just so you know, it is best to be done on bare skin. And I just, I like to do the circular motions. Again, I like to bend over, open it up. And I, I go to the center and then I bring it forward. Again, with the abdomen, I like to lean back a little bit. Sometimes I'll even give myself a few stretches while I'm here. Hold the belly button, pull up the skin, 
pull it nice and tight because think about it, what we're doing is we're kind of like massaging the skin, right? So if I massage it where I want it to be, hopefully when I let it go, it won't drop. It'll stay up there nice and tight. And I really do have a nice tone abdomen and I really do attribute it to um, dry brushing because I don't do sit-ups. I do all of my toning work standing or just laying on the floor rolling on a foam roller. So remembering to go into the groin area, that's very important. We don't wanna get stagnant and clogging. And this is why sitting all the time is not good for us. If you sit a lot, you definitely should be dry brushing and opening up these muscles and the joints. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my hand, my fingers. Opening up the wrist, forearm. Gravity, let that, let's make, let's just mold this. So you know we don't want that jiggle jiggle, right? Then you go into the armpits because we have a lot of lymph there. Don't forget the shoulder, bring it forward. And I really not, when I get here to my neck, it feels so good. And this helps. Stimulate the thyroid. Okay, go from the chin, face. I do have a face only dry brushing routine on the YouTube, Sherry D shares also. It's down, down, down. It's really good to massage the lung area. Open up and up. Okay, and so also too, if you want to finish up with the forehead, just start in the middle and just come on down. And then, so there you go with that. At the end, I like to I'll come closer, that way you can, let me just, that's such real time, folks. <laughs> so do your um, scalp also. We have lots and lots of lots of connective issue areas in the scalp. Massaging them, getting that flow going. Lymphatic stimulation can also aid with headaches because if you're getting clogging and inflammation up in your head, oh, it just sits there stagnant. So if you can get it moving, you're gonna be more healthy. So there you go. I hope you give it a try. Give it a try every day, two weeks. See if you feel a difference. And if you feel like graduating up into brushes, then just make sure it's a natural bristle brush. So thank you very much for joining me. Remember, you can always check this out on Sherry D Shares on YouTube because I will make a link so you can follow along anytime. All right, you have a great day and I love you. See you soon, bye.